Now this bothers me greatly because the Batman Arkham games were literally one of my favorite franchises ever. And I always knew that Rocksteady I could depend on. I always knew that they were always going to kill it because I just did it three times in a row. And you could always tell when a Batman game came out and it wasn't by Rocksteady, like WB Montreal or somebody else, like the Batman Arkham Origins game. You could always tell when it was Rocksteady and when it wasn't. Now, before we get into this, I know the people who actually were at Rocksteady, the core of them, they made their own studio. So they moved on. But before we even get into the video, I just want to mention, you know, I had really high hopes for this. And yeah. So this is, these two games are nine years apart. The two games are Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, and I believe Batman Arkham Knight. So. Oh, this will be interesting to see. From face value, it doesn't look that bad. But, As if Wayne didn't have enough expensive cars. when you compare it to this, you know, there's a lot more bloom you can see, and a lot more like uh, density. Oh my God! Like, come on. Now, not for the reasons you think, but the <laughs> the lighting is really what I meant to point out in this shot. They went a lot more like goofy almost in the new one. I mean, the outfit still holds up, but it just seems pretty kind of dull a little bit, if that's the right word. But this was just peak, you know? It's just insane that it's nine years apart. I think to say, like, I gotta say... Wait a minute, is this on PC and the other one's on console? Hold up. Wait a second. Maybe it has a controller plugged in. But either way, you know, it's like, I feel like some games were definitely ahead of their time. For sure. Like, I believe um, back in 2008, Sonic Unleashed, if you ever heard of that one, I think that game was way ahead of its time. You know? Breach the firewall. Some games were just like a little far ahead for their time. What am I looking at? I mean, like, it's fair to go a different direction. Not every game is going to be this. They don't want to do this for the fourth time, probably. Right? And I think it's okay to have a new direction, but still looking at the What's with the tree? Uh-huh. You know, I mean, uh... <laughs> it's, you know, it's its own thing. I guess. <laughs> oh, it really hurts to see Harley uh, in both games. And then see one and then see the other one. Oh. Sheesh. Hey, you see what I mean though? Like, come on, man. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Like, it was awesome, right? But at the same time, you know, I understand that the different direction. Just want to try something different. 
Because trust me, they conquered this. They they got this down to the T. So, I get it. But as far as graphics go, yeah, I definitely had them beat. There's just like a lot more, what's the word? A little bit more color to it and a little bit more like depth to it. And a lot more, um, you know, like things shine more. Reflections, the lighting. You see that the sky in Suicide Squad is just kind of just, you know, all one color. Well, you have like the moon and all these different lights coming from the sky in Arkham. So, and the fire is kind of just like stuck in place there, it looked like. And it, it is their game, you know, Suicide Squad's game. So, wow. So, there you have it. Um, I mean, you know, I'm not talking about the game itself, but just the. The graphic standpoint from this, like I said, some things were definitely ahead of its time. And I believe Arkham Knight came out around the time Xbox One and PS4 were like, you know, booming. And I don't even know that Arkham Knight had like another release where like they redid the graphics or anything like that because it was just already good to begin with. And of course, it was on PC as well. And you know how PC is, you know, PC's always like always looks the best. But it, it generally is concerning to see the difference in, in graphic quality. It's not that Suicide Squad looks like absolutely terrible. You know what I mean? It doesn't look like it's just awful, right? But you can clearly see the difference. So I'm happy to see that this still holds up. But I'm not quite happy to see how Suicide Squad is looking in comparison. But, you know, like I said, it doesn't look terrible. It looks fine. But when you put them two together, obviously, you know, you get a video like this where it's like, dude, what? So I think they made a video like this with Gotham Knights a while back ago as well. So in the end, it's not the worst thing ever. You know, the game still looks fine. It's just, you know, like I said, in comparison to Arkham Knight, come on, right? You know, you know, you know what, what looks better and it's subjective as well. But I, I definitely think Arkham Knight looks better and. Who knows? Maybe we'll get like an update or something for Suicide Squad. I don't know. But either way, that'll be all for me. <laughs> I'll catch you guys in the next one.